Good morning, kinder and first grade students of Parkway Elementary. This is your gym teacher, Coach Noel. So again, we're going to do fun PE games for today. So I prepared another fun PE games. So this is the part two of the previous activity that we have two weeks ago. So we call this one activity as drawing and catching challenge. And of course, the next one will be Full noodles balancing using using our hands. Okay. So first, I need to use these small full noodles. So I need to balance this one using my right hand. Okay. Just open your palm and put the full noodles at the middle. And within ten counts, I need to balance this one. Okay. As you can see, kids, it's very simple to balance. I'm sure you can do this one also at home. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this time I need to switch. So using my left hand this time, kids. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This time I need only to use two fingers. As you can see, I'm going to use my two fingers. Okay, again within 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, switching on the left hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So you can do this one also at home. If you have foam noodles with you, you can use them. If not, just look for a material that is not heavy for you. It's a soap material. Then you're going to do the foam balancing. Okay, this time kids, I'm going to use only one finger in doing the balancing. So again, within 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Okay, I need to switch using one my one finger only within my using my left hand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's a very challenging foam noodles balancing kit. This time, I need to use the bigger size of a foam noodles. Okay. So this time, I'm going to use again my right hand. So I need to open my palm. Then I need to put the foam noodles at the middle. Then I need to balance it. Okay. So within 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. I need to switch hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this time I need to use my two fingers once again using my right hand. Again, kids, it's two fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I need to switch hands, still using my two fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this time I need to use my one finger only. So I hope so I can also make this balance or the foam noodles to be balanced using my one finger rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I need to switch using my one finger only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So kids in doing the Foam noodle balancing using the small or this bigger size of uh, foam noodles. You are free to move so you can move forward, sideward, backward. 
so that you can maintain your balance, especially this bigger one. Okay? Okay, kids. We already finished with the vertical foam noodles balancing while I go this time. Let's proceed to the horizontal foam noodles balancing. So again, I'm going to use the small one. So I need to balance using my right hand. Okay, within 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Okay. I need to switch hands this time. Ready. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. This time, kids, I need to use my two fingers only. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Do it on the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, see my middle finger kids. So I need to balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm done with the small foam noodles kids this time. I'm going to use the bigger size again. It's a horizontal foam balancing using my right hand. So it's very easy if you're going to use your right hand, open your palm and do the balancing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. Okay. You need to switch on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. This time, using my two fingers, the middle and the index fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Okay, I need to switch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, as you can see, kids, I have the foam noodles, the bigger size. It's easier for me to balance the bigger size compared to the smaller one. So I'm sure you can do this one also at home. So it's a fun PE game for you. This time, I'm going to use my one finger only. So make sure I'm going to put the foam noodles at the middle to keep the balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And of course, on the other side, so I need to switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this time, kids, I need to do the balancing once again, the vertical balancing. This time, I need to toast the foam noodles. I need to catch it using my right hand. And let me see if I can balance. So this time, you are free to move. You can move towards your right, your left front and back, as long as you keep your balance. Okay. Okay, as you can see, kids, I need to toss it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm going to do it also on the other side. Okay, you see my left hand this time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so as you can see, kids, I need to balance the foam models using my palm, and of course, this time I need to use it using my two fingers only. Okay. So 
So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do the foam balancing using two fingers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So as you can see, kids, I need to toast the foam noodles, then touch it using my two fingers only and do the balancing. I hope so I can also manage using my two fingers using my left hand. One, two, three. Okay. It's very hard for using the left hand because I'm a right handed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we're done for foam noodles balancing kids, the vertical and horizontal foam balancing. I hope so you can do this one also at home. So after the break, we will now proceed to the next activity, which is the part two of throwing and catching challenge. Okay. Okay kids, we will now proceed to the part two of our activity for today, the throwing and catching challenge. So, as you can see, I'm holding a weighted ball, it's color blue, so I need to throw this up straight into the air, then I need to catch it with my both hands. Okay, I need to throw this one using my both hands. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this time, kids. Right hand will be the one to throw the ball, then right hand also will be the one to catch. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. This time, the left hand will be the one to throw, and the left hand will be also the one to catch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So next, kids, we need to throw the ball up straight into the air. Then we need to jump and catch the ball. And make sure we're going to catch it if the ball is still in up on the air. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'll make it. Make it. Next throwing and catching challenge will be throwing the ball up straight into the air. I need to catch behind my back. Okay. So you can do this one also at home. So as you can see, I have with the, the orange ball. So in throwing the ball, make sure you're going to throw it up straight into the air, not very far from you, so that you can catch it using your hands at your back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. You see, kids, I was able to catch it behind my back. Okay, kids. I need to do the one foot balancing and I need to throw the ball up straight to the air then I need to catch it using my both hands. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Okay. This time, I need to throw the ball up straight into the air and I need to do this one first. So I need to keep my balance, then I need to catch the ball. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This time I need to switch legs. Again, I need to catch the ball using my left. And I need to do this one third. One, two, Three, four, 
five. Okay. Time kids. I need to use my left leg to balance. So one foot balancing. Then I need to catch again using my both hands. Okay. One. Three, four, five. Okay. Okay, kids. We just finished one foot balancing upon throwing and catching the ball. This time, I'm going to use the blue ball. And of course, we have another challenge. This time, I need to throw the ball behind my back and you need to catch it using my left hand. Okay. I hope so. You can do this one also. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, this time I need to switch. Left hand will be the one to throw the ball and right hand will be the one to catch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next activity, we need to throw the ball up straight into the air and we need to catch it using my both hands. So as you can see, I'm in crisscross position. One, two, three, four. One last, five. Okay. This time I need to face my right. And this time, only one hand will throw the ball and only one hand also catch the ball. So this time I'm using my right. One, two, three, four, five. So make sure you're going to throw the ball up straight into the air so that you are not going to move in order for you to catch it the ball or to catch the ball rather. Okay, this time I need to face my back. So I'm going to use the blue ball this time. So left hand will be the one to throw and left hand will be the one to catch. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay. Okay, kids. Again, we do the sitting position in throwing and catching the ball. So this time, two legs out. So I need to position like this. So I'm going to use first the orange ball. So again, I need to throw the ball up straight into the air. I need to catch it using my both hands. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, this time I need to face my right once again. I need to throw the ball up straight into the air using my right, and the right hand also will be the one to catch. One, two, three, four, one last, five. Okay, so this time. I need to face my back. I'm going to use the blue ball this time. Okay. So left hand will be the one to throw the ball and left hand will be the one to, to, to do the catching also. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. We already finished throwing and catching upon sitting on the floor. Okay kids. So we are done with the activity for today. So we successfully finished again Fan P games. So part one is all about the foam noodles balancing, the horizontal and vertical balancing. So after that, we able to finish also throwing and catching challenge part two. So we use one hand, we need to use two hands in catching and throwing as well. And of course, this is a very important activity that you need to do also at home, not only for fan pee games, not only for playing, but of course, in doing this kind of activity, you also do a lot of exercises. Okay, so coming next week, kids, I'm going to prepare again a very exciting fan pee games, and I hope you're going to do this one at home. You like the activity that I prepared for you, because the activity is very challenging one, especially the throwing and catching and of course the foam noodles balancing. So this is your coach, Coach Toel, 
saying goodbye. God bless. Bye for now, first grade and kindergarten.